Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to another daily energy draw. This is Romance Angels Friday because who doesn't like to start the weekend with a little bit of romance. It is the last day in our Love Everyday Week where we used the love oriented oracle decks that I have. I felt like we needed a little bit more love up in here. So <laughs> I hope you guys resonated. Um, some interesting messages. I actually pre-record all of these and schedule these out. Um, so, and when I'm channeling, I'm not completely aware of what it is that I'm channeling, what messages are coming through me. So it's always exciting for me to watch these back and see how it plays out throughout the week. Um, so do let me know if these are resonating for you too and how you liked the readings this week. All right. So what I'm going to do is pull a card for, what is it? Friday, May 29th. So let's see what we have for Friday, May 29th. Remember the timestamps are just timestamps. You take the messages how and when they resonate for you. We also have a full playlist of dailies um, dating back a year now. <laughs> I think it is. I think we've been doing this a full year and that's really exciting. So um, feel free to go back through the playlist and see by the titles or whatever the description inside, um, whatever message it is that you feel like you need to hear um, because some of the old uh, readings might resonate with you as well. All right, so, um, and we've channeled some really powerful messages for the dailies um, over the past year, so, so fun. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I can't believe it's been almost a year. All right, so let's see what we have for today's daily for Romance Angels Friday Spirit. Oh, gosh, these are going all over the place. Okay, what do we have for today? What do we have for today? Okay, Woo, okay. All right, oh, okay. All right, so <laughs> the cards are going all over the place. The one that popped out first is heart to heart conversations. And then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We started this whole love every day week because um, it felt like there was a very heavy veil of illusion that was going on, especially when it comes to these sacred partners. Um, I felt like very dense energy, very thick energy, and it felt like a lot of us were experiencing old fears, some of that karma that was coming up to the past of maybe my partner doesn't feel the same, maybe they're not in love with me, maybe they don't care, maybe they don't appreciate me, I'm feeling used, I'm feeling manipulated, I'm feeling like this isn't you know, what I want, I don't know what I want. There were all these questions that were coming up at the beginning of the week. Do check out the um, collective readings that we've had over the past week or so because some of this energy was coming in. That was countering some of the bliss code energy that was coming in and streaming onto the planet where we were also having feelings of anchoring deep into the energy of knowing faith and love. So it was almost like the ego and the heart were battling where it was like the illusions were very strong. Interference, I'm also hearing, might have been very strong as well. Um, but it felt very... Um, third dimensional. It felt very like getting trapped in drama and and ego and illusion um, and doubt. A lot of doubt around this connection and how you're feeling, how your counterpart might be feeling. Um, but it's all about knowing yourself. It's all about coming back to the heart space. It's all about understanding that only love is real and to trust your intuition versus the illusion that you're seeing. Now, what's coming out with this, with this unrequited love, is that perhaps there are boundaries that have to be instilled. Um, and Divine Feminines especially have been working on this, on standing up for yourself, standing your ground, about upholding those boundaries. Divine Masculine, I'm hearing, have been working on this as well, but with other parties. Um, in family dynamics, other relationships and friendships, they've been learning this as well, and also learning how to respect boundaries. Um, so both of you have been learning about boundaries. Both of you have been learning about following your intuition, following what it is that you're feeling versus what it is that you're seeing. And knowing your worth, knowing your value, and upholding your boundaries based on that worth and that value. What I feel like is coming in, especially with these two cards, is um, these counterparts having a conversation with each other about the emotions that they're feeling in order to be on the same page, in order to feel... Um, what I'm actually hearing is alignment, alignment of the 5D and the 3D. So um, I feel like they're over, this doesn't feel like it, it might be current. This might feel like it's coming over the next few days to the next few weeks. June feels like a, oh, and it's June. 
<laughs> I was just going to say June feels like a really breakthrough month, a really pivotal month, but this is the end of May. It is June. So maybe over the next few days, this energy is coming in. Um, maybe for some over the next few weeks, um, release expectation on time, release expectation of how and when. Um, really just allow yourself to be in a state of self-love and flow and focusing on your life um, and yourself but while also honoring and holding space for the connection and that's the balance that's difficult to maintain but what I'm actually hearing is um, through this communication through this heart-to-heart -heart conversation any feelings of doubt are going to be eradicated now spirit is saying you needed to learn this first you needed to learn how to trust yourself trust in the connection believe in the connection and have faith in this journey first you needed to learn how to have faith in yourself first and in your own inner knowing that was the crucial piece to this but over the next few weeks there's going to be confirmation through conversation through communication of the love that you feel with your counterpart where it once felt unrequited you're going to understand that that was just the illusion based on actions based on behaviors based on whatever it was based on possibly even past heartbreak but that's the karmic cycle that you're closing you're entering a new phase of your ascension journey you're entering a new phase of this relationship you're entering a new phase of union because you have come into union within yourself really standing strong within yourself really understanding your divine power really understanding this feeling of empowerment within you the love that you hold within you and because you hold that love within you you're coming into alignment with love in your outside physical world as as part of that human experience that you're desiring to have and so anywhere where you were feeling that lack anywhere where you were feeling that doubt anywhere where you were having those questions about love that is going the universe is coming in and is helping you to anchor back into that feeling of security when it comes to love to anchor back into that feeling of faith when it comes to knowing that you are deserving because you had to find that within yourself first you had to have faith in that within yourself first you had to connect that love within yourself first so the unrequited love was first of all coming from yourself where you weren't loving yourself enough and so that was maybe reflecting in your outside connection but if there was any place where you were feeling that lack from your connection that is being eradicated through communication so this actually feels really good this energy um again this was your lack of faith this was your questioning this was the illusion this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is coming in yeah because we have attraction on the bottom of the deck here where you thought you were afraid that there wasn't enough attraction or chemistry you were afraid that this was unrequited that the love that you were feeling wasn't returned this is the universe saying that it actually is and now you're going to start seeing the physical result of that because you are calling in your soulmate here the masks are coming down we have been channeling that that was last week's daily energy draw very powerful for romance angels friday we channeled that in a reading as well the masks are coming off within this connection so that you can both understand that it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love each other. It is safe for you to receive that love and open your heart. It is safe and it's all coming through in this deepening conversation, this deepened communication. Tuesday's daily was all about intimacy, emotional intimacy, being honest with yourself so you can be honest with others, especially with your partner. That's what this is. This is that honest, open vulnerable conversation in order to move your connection to the next level in order to continue ascending and growing in this partnership on this journey in the next level of your journey wow <laughs> very strong energies this week very strong energies all right you guys that is it for the dailies this week we'll be next we'll be back next week with another week of daily energy draws as well as some more collective readings so stay tuned to instagram facebook for all of the updates as well as for some more readings um there and stay tuned to the channel make sure you like subscribe comment um let me know how these are resonating with you and stay tuned for more collective readings um, regarding sacred partnership and ascension here on the channel. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.